Hi, my name is Islam and this is Animation Gym. In this video, we'll talk about the auto edit or auto montage inside Premiere Pro using Silence Remover extension. Silence Remover is being used by a lot of famous YouTubers, production houses, and even news agencies. Just for the record, I'm gonna use it in this video also. Actually, your work inside Premiere Pro will be at least 10 times faster. 10 times faster. Recently, I edited a whole podcast, more than one hour, to cameras, and it took like five minutes. Actually, I'm very excited to show you how I did it. Also, I'll talk about the most known workflows that video creators, YouTubers, or filmmakers use to make their work faster. So enough talking, let's open up Premiere and start working. Let's get started from window, extension, silence remover, and open up. Okay, now we have this MP4 file. It's uncompressed file. It's coming from a camera or something like that. So I'll just drag it and make a sequence. And because it's uncompressed file, so the only thing I need to make before I start working is just to prepare audio or export MP3 file and give it to Silence Mover to work with. Just select the clip on the timeline and click prepare audio and it will open up a location window. Let's save it in the same location. We have the files. Just like that, it will automatically send it to Media Encoder and start encoding. If you are a Windows user, you might not see the save window immediately. However, if you got the Media Encoder, the chances are that Media Encoder is waiting for the save file and the save file window is behind Premiere. Like it's heading right there. <laughs> so this issue might happen for you. So just take care. Great. Now we have the MP3 file ready. So let's drag it and drop it into Silence Remover. Also, you can choose file from here and get it from the finder or the window or whatever you are working with. I just want to note here, if you have a big file, like more than one hour or something like that, it might take a couple of seconds to load into the silence remover. Now, this is a good part here. Just select the clip and apply to sequence and watch the magic. Yeah, it is what you think. Automatic edit for the whole clip. Okay, so let's zoom in to see what we got. You can see now the yellow parts are the parts with silence, the parts I'm not talking at all, and the blue parts are the parts that uh, I'm talking, I'm interacting with the camera, I'm doing a lot of stuff. But you can see here there is some parts, uh, maybe I'm coughing or something like that, I need silence remover to consider this part as silence. So I'll move the preview to the same part and start playing with the noise level. You can see this uh, red line, it's going higher, and whatever under this grid line is considered as noise. So next option is the minimum time. And let's see some place that uh, I feel like uh, it should not be silence. So maybe a place like this one. So I feel that this gap is uh, over than one second and less than two seconds. So if I make it two, it will not be a silent. And you can see it's 2000 because uh, we are talking in millisecond here. So 500 is like half a second. Next, we have sampling. Sampling is how accurate the silence mover works. If we lower it from 50 to 10, it's gonna be more accurate, but it's gonna be uh, slow also. So you have to take that into consideration. Also, 50 is a sweet spot for most of the videos, so you might not uh, change it at all. After that, we have uh, offset. Offset is the padding or the shifting before and after the gap. You can see there is a kind of constraint between both values. So if you click this lock, you can change them separately. And again, all in milliseconds. For uh, a place like this, I need to give a space before the voice. So I'll change the out value and the in value will change the ending of the voice. Starting from version 1.2, you can change the apply mode to remove silence immediately or make markers. Let me delete all of that and drop a new clip here. It's always a handy feature to check with the markers before you apply whatever you want. Uh, markers are fast and I can see here that I don't need any cuts here in this area. So I'll uh, go back to silence remover and maybe play with the minimum time bit and remove all those markers and apply markers again. And I can see now I changed this part, there is no cut here, and this is a good thing for me. It was very fast, especially if you have a long, long file, uh, so if you will apply and then go back to lead the whole file and apply again, it will be frustrating. Also, maybe after you check the markers, you can go ahead and like uh, remove silence immediately like this. 
let's see you apply the auto edit here and you will select the silence or the voices clips after that you can see the select clips option here under the applied sequence so after you apply it immediately you can click the yellow button and it will select all the silence places and of course the blue button for the sound parts until now you can see that I was working on the first track, track number one but uh, if I want to change it I just get uh, a clip and put it on track number two of course audio and video and select it and I can change the apply track from here to track number two that's it, let's click apply now you can see silence remover is working on the second track, not the first one a common thing youtubers do is record your video and audio separate especially if you have uh, a mic like me normally you get your tracks here and uh, click synchronize and there will be uh, a synchronize for your uh, audio and video just one thing take care not to change your in and out for the audio just change the video there is no issue but the audio it has to be the same in and out now i need to nest the audio and video so i'll go here and close the link selection option and delete uh, this one i don't need it i don't need this uh, audio and uh, put the other one on the same track and select both and let's nest them both now we can apply immediately to this uh, sequence i need to go back and open the link selection so i can move uh, both together sure this time i don't need to prepare any audio because i already have one so i'll import it immediately to uh, silence remover and I can start working as usual. You can see here I have some noise, it's considered as audio, so I'll uh, higher the noise level, and now it's gone. Uh, also, if I look here, maybe I don't need this gap or something like this. So I'll uh, higher the minimum uh, time, and it's gone. Here, if I played with the noise level, let's make it six or seven you can see here i lost a lot of uh, audio because the wave uh, level here uh, are not uh, high enough so i'll go back to make it four or five to fix this issue on the side here you will get uh, how many gaps you have this is a very good way to get uh, a good sense of what you're doing now let's move to the podcast example I'll load the voice over here and uh, it will take a couple of seconds to load as usual right away you can see i have uh, 83 gap so uh, let's check if this is a good thing or not if you recorded any podcast before uh, i think you will know by now <laughs> you have to wear uh, headphones and this is to prevent echo in your uh, voiceover and this was uh, a beginner mistake for me so i have a lot of uh, echo here <laughs> and so i have to higher the noise level to uh, consider it as noise so uh, i got six i think it's a good number uh, I'll play a bit with the offset after the audio because I uh, feel like it's, uh, it's cutting uh, some frames from it so I'll make it 300 so it's like a third of a second I feel like I have a lot of uh, tiny gaps here and if you look at the audio file you will uh, see that it's just a few silences, a few gaps so let's make this minimum time 3 maybe I'll play with the shifting out a little bit this is to give us space before the sound just make sure which track you are applying to and apply to sequence I tried this on more than one hour clip it took almost like one minute but I still had a lot of echo on the yellow clips so I select any yellow clip and drag this bar down this is to kill the audio on this yellow clip after that I'll uh, right click it and copy the clip so let's select all the yellow clips from here and let's go to paste but this time we'll paste attributes just make sure that the channel volume are checked and that's it you killed all the echoing issue for this podcast I used two cameras this one for me and this is the other guy here now i'll drag the other camera to the right uh, time actually i'm almost done now all i have to do is like uh, put myself on vision while i'm talking that's it i'll go to the select clips option and select the blue parts and just put it in a higher track now you can see i'm talking here in this part and after i finish talking the other guy is talking yeah he's talking now and so on yeah even here uh, here uh, i'm talking and uh, whenever i stop talking he is showing up 
and after he stopped talking of course i'll start talking and the camera switches back to me so you got your first cut for the whole podcast with a click of a button and that's actually very neat you can even select all the yellow parts and delete it sometimes if you are recording on a mic like this one it will record on just one channel so let's see what we can do with that okay let's drag the mp3 file into the silent remover you can see that uh, this is the first channel there is no data at all maybe some very tiny waves here but it's uh, not the the data we saw here in the timeline if you change the audio channel to channel number two now you get the right channel the channel that is uh, full of data you got 47 gaps and you can apply it now yeah one hour in less than five minutes crazy right so let me know how much time you think silence remover will save you let me know in the comments comments down there one last thing you can try silence remover for free on AS scripts right now link below okay that's it for this one let me know if you have any questions and peace you know i can say salam right can say salam in Arabic like salam beast like this salam can say it no okay